Hello and welcome to another, uh, that's not really a playthrough, I guess. It's more like a, uh, talk-through. As we will be getting into Final Fantasy X Eternal Calm. Now this is apparently, well, they maybe should have called it the, the calm before the crap storm. Since this is uh, supposed to bridge the gap between Final Fantasy X and its sequel, Final Fantasy X-2. Uh, this was apparently never released in North America prior to this uh, HD remaster, so this will be the first time that I'm seeing this. I have no idea what it's like, except uh, I don't believe there's actually any gameplay. I think it's all cutscene. I think it's uh, I think it's only about 15 minutes long. I could be could be wrong about that, but uh, I think it's short. So I guess we're gonna just get right into it and see what this is like. It might not be a, an actual game, but you get to hear my sexy voice anyway. Lucky you. Okay, let's do it. Let's learn how they came to the most disastrous sequel they could have possibly made. You're diving like a real pro, yeah? You're still wearing <laughs> you your damn summoner robes. Pro, <laughs> I don't know. It's been so long since I trained. Get some good swimwear, girl. <laughs> I've gotten a little chubby. <laughs> wow, she's no. calling she's calling a walk of fat. And you're not even the one having the baby. Oh, she's already pregnant no. at this time, huh? You already knocked her up. Thought that's what this was gonna be all about. Walking Lulu getting it on. It's been two years. I've learned how to hold my breath for more than two minutes now. It takes more than physical strength, and there are some tricks you can't be taught. It took practice. Lots and lots of practice. I just had to keep trying until I figured it out for myself. You know what, what is her hair doing? Her hair's going Back crazy. Then, I didn't think there were any tricks to it at all. I didn't have time to think. An eternal calm. A slightly chubby waka. And my two minutes, 41 seconds. It's not much. But it's enough. That's also how long it took uh, Lulu to get pregnant. Unnecessary, unnecessary diss to Waka. I'm sorry. Just hope he's a better father than he is a blitzball player. What do they still? What do they still got temples for? You Yevon's dead. Screw that guy. They've turned they've they've converted these temples into into rave rave parties. Pleasure to meet you. I, I heard your speech two years ago in the stadium, but s seeing you this close, you, you look so much more. I, I mean, you are truly beautiful. Great, this old man's hitting on her. This old That's Jewish man. <laughs> the reason I've come here today is to talk to you about my grandson. He's joined the youth league, you see. 
I've nothing against the League, mind you. It's just me and the missus belong to New Yevin. My grandson used to attend all the party meetings with his parents, of course. That is, until one day. I'm sure being around people his own age can't be bad for the boy. Still, I am worried about him. I feel, oh, how shall I say this? Like our grandchildren are moving too quickly. In the last two years, new groups have been springing up all over. Everyone wants to be part of a new age. Everyone wants to build a new age. Everyone wants to build a new Spira. And they're all racing to find their own way to do it. I only want what's best for him. But it troubles me when we agree on so little. People have different ideas. And sometimes, they disagree on the right thing to do. Some people worry about what the new age will bring. Sometimes, I worry too. That I may become a slutty pop star. I just have to tell myself that for now, I'm doing the right thing. I understand how you feel. But Tastio, maybe Tastio? you should try talking to your grandson first. He may walk a different path, but I'm sure he wants the same for Spira, as we all do. <sighs> okay, what was the relevance of that? Not sure. Some old man who doesn't understand his grandchildren. Or his son, whatever he was talking about. Hey there! What is it? Another visitor? No, no, I just wanted to chat, yeah? It's just, uh, the old folks in the village. They'd like to see you get, uh, you know... And who is it this time? Well, they're saying it's the son of the chairman of New Yevin, yeah? What the, what is New Yevin? Oh, no. He would only use me after all. It's all that men do. Right. I'm sorry. Don't worry. I'll go tell them myself. No, no. You leave that to me, yeah? Huh? You really don't want to see them anyway. You know how they get. <laughs> yeah. Last time they wanted Lady to throw her in a up! volcano. <sighs> what is this? What's going on now? Lady Yuna, allow me to introduce myself. My name is Yaibo. I've come on Youth League business. I bring a message for you from our leader, Maven Nuge. Maven Nuge? She's not Nuge? interested in joining, yeah? Oh? Is Maven that Nuge. Come? That is correct, my I lady. come on behalf of Jar Jar Binks. Sorry, but I will not be joining any group. Perhaps the lady will start a group of her own. <laughs> Leave us, please. Yeah, a pop group. That's where she's gonna start. Waka! <laughs> Riku sometimes visits us here in Besaid. She's been traveling around Spira. Salvaging ancient machina and teaching people how to use them. It's tiring work, but you wouldn't know it from looking at her. Hey, cut it out! <laughs> I've sure got a handle on you. Where's Lulu? Back in the village. Go say hi, yeah? You betcha. And Yuna, 
You seem the same as always. Yeah, same as always. Is Kamari still on Mount Gagazet? Yeah, he's been up there teaching the orphan Ronzo all kinds of stuff. Huh. He's like this big guru now. Oh, that reminds me, I got something for you. Where is it? Where is it? Uh, here we go. Kamari found it up on the mountain. A sphere? Funny looking design, yeah? Take a good look, Yuna. Hmm, what is this? What is this? It's actually just a Rick no, roll. I'm not sorry. <laughs> I haven't done anything wrong. Never gonna give you I know up. You're Never gonna let you if down. If she was your girl, what would you do? How can you blame me for trying to use your weapon? It was the only way I could save the summoner. What would you do if you were me? Let me out! I want to see her! Huh. So she must think, she's gonna think it's Titus. There can't be two people that annoying and ridiculous looking. It was a voice from the past. No, it was a voice that's never left me. What is this? What's he doing? I mean, is that really him? Is that, is he, what's going on? I'm not sure. But you want to find out, don't ya? Well, yeah, but... Yes, let's go then. Go where? Well, that's the tricky part. I know. Kimari found the sphere. Let's go talk to him. Whoa, whoa. You sure you're ready to just run off? Can't you wait until we find out a little more first? And just who's supposed to do the finding out? Leave that to us. I'm sure Maven Nuge will agree to help. In fact, I volunteer to oh ask boy. him myself. Peter, yeah. Or Maven. Maven Nuge. Understood. I shall return as soon as possible with a full report of our investigation. Well, look, I really want Yuna to go. She can't do that. Why not? Because she's book solid for three months, yeah? And everybody wants to see her. <laughs> oh, yeah? Well, what about what she wants? Well, yeah, but... <sighs> Okay, maybe once things calm down, you know? And what if they don't, Waka? What then, huh? I don't believe it. After everything Yuna did for us. Why can't she just do what she wants to do now? Why? You know, every time I visited here, I wondered, why is it that when everyone's out making their dreams happen, and everyone's getting their chance. Yuna's dreams are on hold. Gee, it's not like you... Ooh. What do you know anyway, Tubby? <laughs> Yuna? I want... To be a pop star. I want to journey again. But... If I leave... I'll be disappointing everyone else. You saved the goddamn world. I think you can uh, disappoint people now. What's the point of pretending to be all grown up if it means the things I want to say never get said? How am I supposed to change anything? Hmm. I'll go. Yuna! <laughs> I don't ever remember I Titus saying it's that. Selfish. But this is my story. <laughs> right on! I knew you'd say that, so this... I brought something just to Oh no, this is where she gets her her first break. pair of booty shorts. First, no. Well, you need a new look. No. So incognito's the way to go. Yeah, you mean as scantily what, what clad as possible. Uh, I'll go get Lou.
an eternal calm. A slightly chubby waka. And my two minutes, 41 seconds. And a random dolphin. It's not much. <laughs> what is that about? But it's enough. Still. It's okay to want more, isn't it? Riku, let's leave. Let's leave right now. A journey's catalyst. Well, looks like that does it. And that's what led to the most uh, incredible sequel in video game history. Which uh, I will be playing at some point. At some point I will play Final Fantasy X 2. It's not going to be right away, but someday it will happen. I don't know why, but it will. Thank you for joining me once again, and uh, if you're follow following my Final Fantasy X playthrough, uh, I still do plan on taking down Nemesis and uh, Penance, the optional bosses, and then that'll uh, that'll round out that game. But uh, yeah, thanks for being here. Hope you enjoyed it. We'll see you next time. With more gaming stuff. Yay.